Hello guys, this is Raj Shekhar Teshagani. I am going to show the uh, show you the uh, usage of outer giant con outer giants concept in Oracle database. Just see my desktop. I will going to show you uh, the usage of outer giants in Oracle database for that purpose. Um, as we have seen in the uh, previous session, uh, the equi giant and inner giant concepts are in that Oracle database. Both equi and inner giants are used to join two or more than two tables and retrieving only matching rows from both the tables but not the but not the unmatched rows from the both the tables so to overcome this problem uh, in oracle database the outer giants are come into picture let us see what was happened in the yesterday's class in ap giant and uh, inner giant <coughs> concepts uh, to join uh, two or more than two tables in yesterday's session what was the thing happened uh, we, we are going to see today also i will show you uh, what was the thing happened in the uh, previous session so for that purpose we have two tables in we have two tables uh, in ppt presentation for example uh, let us take two tables two tables uh, whatever the tables that we are having here these are the two tables uh, example tables are uh, student table and course tables in the student table uh, we have uh, three columns and three rows similarly in under the course table we have three columns and three rows so uh, what was the thing in yesterday's uh, previous session mm -hmm. uh, in equity and energy and concepts uh, if you want to join these two tables by using inner or equity giants concept uh, they will going to uh, they will going to join the they will going to retrieve the records uh, what uh, retrieve the records only matching records that means uh, under the CID column of the student table we have the two two values are matching here 10 and 20 are the matching uh, matching values to the CID column of the course table 10 20 so uh, if uh, we are we used uh, equity join and inner join in previous session uh, to uh, to join this table two tables so they uh, they fetched only a 28th record and the 10th record of the both the tables let us see what was the thing happened in the oracle database in the previous session so for that purpose uh, i'm going to uh, retrieve the data of student table what are the details uh, i want to see in what are the details are there in student table i want to uh, fetch now so uh, select star from student these are the records in student table uh, similarly i am going to uh, open the course table details select star from course table yeah uh, here uh, we have the two tables uh, we got it in the oracle database so uh, yesterday uh, that means in previous session in previous session we have joined these two tables by using inner join and equi join so uh, in that uh, inner join and equi join concepts uh, they 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 joined they joined these two tables uh, to fetch only two rows why because uh, in in these two tables only a under the cid column uh, only 10 20 10 20 are matching to each other that is why that is why uh, by using inner join or equi join concepts to join these two tables we are getting only two rows two rows in previous session let us see uh, what was the thing happened in the previous session by using this query is select star star means all the columns and uh, all the columns of the both the about two tables and we have used uh, student table as the left table and uh, i am assigning s as a alias name for the student table and i am i have given inner inner join in the previous session because this is uh, these two tables are going to be joined uh, by using inner join concept and i am giving a uh, table to uh, name and i am assigning uh, c as a alias name for the course table and i am giving on condition because this uh, this this query is belongs to uh, this uh, this concept is belongs to ansi former giants type that is why i have given on condition in the previous session and i, I have given a uh, logical condition is alias name of the student table dot common column of the both the tables 
this is equal to alias name for the course table that means c dot common column of the both the tables and uh, let us see the result what was the thing happened in yesterday yeah we are getting only two rows we are getting the resultant table uh, having only two rows why uh, why it is having two rows means here uh, above two, two tables in above student table and course table we have the common column of CID common column of CID under that uh, CID column uh, we have 1020 uh, 1020 or matching to each other so that is why uh, here resultant table has been uh, has been fetched with a record has been fetched with the record of having two rows only I have two rows only uh, remaining a uh, remaining particular jyotis uh, CID value is 30 and uh, uh, in under the course table uh, the Python course CID value is 40 it is not matched to each other that is why it ignored the third row of the both the tables so to overcome this problem in order to uh, in order to match that row also we have to use uh, outer giants concept in Oracle database let us see how we are going to uh, use that outer giants concept in Oracle database means uh, <coughs> so uh, uh, these outer giants concepts are uh, the types of the outer giant concept are uh, left outer giants, right outer giants, full outer giants so in this outer giants we have three types left outer giants, right outer giants, full outer giants so we have to see the uh, definition for the left outer giants yeah these are the giants uh, which are used to retrieve uh, retrieve all the rows that means uh, which are used to retrieve all the rows including matching and unmatching rows from the left side table from the left side table and but uh, uh, but retrieving matching rows from the right side table let us see our example tables let us see our example table so here a left outer giant is going to uh, join the two tables uh, and fetching that means retrieving the data they are not retrieving the rows all the rows from left side of the table that all the rows means matching and unmatching uh, rows from the left side of the table and it is going to be retrieve the uh, matching rows from the right side of the table that means it is going to be uh, retrieve the matching rows from the course table and it is going to be uh, retrieve the matching and unmatching data from the student table let us see uh, what uh, how we are going to uh, uh, fetch this uh, two record uh, two tables by using the left outer giant and so that uh, we have the uh, syntax for the left outer giant that is <coughs> that is uh, select star from table name one uh, table name one in the sense left left table that means student table uh, and i am giving uh, alias name for the table name one and uh, here i am mentioning left outer giant keyword because this is the left outer giant concept so after that i am giving table name two and uh, here also i am assigning alias name for the table name two and i am mentioning uh, on condition because this is the ANSI format giant type uh, and I am giving the logical condition that uh, alias name of the table name one dot common column of the both the tables is equal to alias name for the table name two dot common column of the both the tables. So let us see practically how this query, uh, how this syntax is going to be used. Let us see my database. <coughs> for that purpose, I, I want to clear my screen. So here we have two tables now. I want to fetch the records of the, those two tables. First I need to uh, get the details of the student table here. Here we have the query to uh, retrieve the details of the student table. Yes, we got the details uh, in uh, details of the student table uh, having three rows and three columns. Similarly, uh, we need to fetch the records in a uh, course table also. These two tables are having three rows, three rows and three columns. Uh, so now we are going to join these two tables by using left outer giant. The uh, the the mechanism of the left outer giant is to uh, going to retrieve the uh, all the rows. That means matching and unmatching rows from the left side of left left table. That means student table, student table, and matching. It is going to be uh, retrieve the matching rows from the right side table. Right side table means course table. 
so let us see uh, how we are going to join these two tables now i am using the query is select star star means all the col columns of the both the both the tables and left side table i mentioned left side table means that name is student and here i am uh, mentioning alias name for the student table is s and i am using a left outer keyword because this is the left outer join concept left outer join concept that is why i am using left outer join keyword and i am mentioning right side table name that that means the right side table name means course table and here also i am assigning al c as a alias name for the course table and i am giving on condition because this is the, this is the ansi format type query so here i am uh, giving the logical condition to join to join about two tables so alias name for the left side table that means uh, student tables alias name that means s dot common column of the above two tables is cid and uh, i am using equal operator and to join these two tables we are uh, we are going to use equal operator so that i have used equal equal symbol and that uh, uh, after that i am going to use alias name for the right side of the table that means course tables uh, alias name is c and dot uh, i'm going to mention a common column of the both the table is cid just say the result what will what will be happening in the result resultant table yeah so we got the result having having six columns and three rows six columns and three rows uh, in the table uh, it is it is fetched matching and unmatching rows from the student table it is fetched it fetched matching and unmatched uh, rows from the student table and uh, and it fetched matching rows from the course table only matching rows from the course table let us observe about two tables here <coughs> 10 20 30 are the are there in the left side table that means are there in the student table and here 10 20 40 are there in the right side table here what what was the thing is happened here uh, this query uh, got the result of this query brought out the result of matching and unmatching rows from the student table that means 10 20 30 and it retrieved the uh, matching rows from the course table that means 10 20 only 10 20 are matched with the student table that is why uh, the concept of left out of join is to retrieve all the matched and unmatched rows from the student table and it is going to be uh, retrie retrieving uh, matched rows only from the course table if you say the uh, equation inner join concept uh, you can easily find out the difference between uh, left out of join and inner join uh, uh, I will show you again uh, the, the query in, uh, in inner join uh, to combine these two tables. I am writing the query in by using inner join. Select star from student. I am assigning uh, alias name. I am mentioning in the inner join keyword. Then I am mentioning all right side of the table. <coughs> and I am giving on condition in the town condition i'm mentioning the logical condition is yeah this was a thing yesterday as has been happened uh, in previous class uh, th this is the thing has been happened uh, see the difference between the above two results here uh, in inner inner query inner giant concept we have fetched only matching rows of the both the student both the student and uh, course tables but uh, here in the left outer join concept we we fetched matching and unmatched rows from the student table and uh, matched rows from the uh, course table so this is the different so here uh, outer join concept is going to fetch uh, matched and unmatched rows from the both the tables uh, this is the uh, problem we got uh, overcame uh, from the uh, inner giants concept so let us see uh, another uh, another concept in outer giants another topic in outer giants that is second one is uh, second one is we have a uh, right outer giants right outer giants 
so for this purpose we need to see the definition of the right outer join is it is also similar to the left outer join uh, let us see the definition uh, these are the joints used to retrieve all the rows all the rows matching and unmatching rows from the right side of the table uh, what we have done in, what we have done in the uh, left outer join we we have we retrieved the all, all matching rows and uh, unmatching rows from the left side of the table in uh, left outer join but here the thing is going to be happen uh, what it is means these these joints are used to retrieve all the rows that means including matching and unmatching rows from right side of the table and uh, uh, retrieving matching rows from uh, left side of the table left side table so that means so the outer join concept outer join concept uh, this outer right outer join concept is quite opposite to the left outer join concept only thing is to uh, uh, in left outer join uh, we are going to fetch the uh, matching and unmatching uh, unmatching records from uh, left side left side table and uh, we are going to fetch the uh, matching records from the right side of the table here right uh, right right outer join concept uh, it is quite opposite to the left outer join concept it is going to be fetch uh, matching and unmatching rows from the right side table and it is retrieving the matching rows from the left side table these are quite opposite to the left outer joints concept similarly uh, we have a syntax for the right outer joints let us see as for the uh, it is similar to the uh, left outer joint only thing is to uh, fetch uh, matching and unmatching rows from right side of the table and matching rows only from the left side of the table similarly uh, this is the syntax almost similarly to the uh, left outer joint concept in the oracle database let us see what will happen in the right outer join for that purpose i will going to clear my uh, oracle database so again i want to see uh, the results uh, i want to see the details uh, details in student table so that uh, i am going to fetch the records in student table and similarly i want to see the records in course table Yeah, here we have two tables uh, having three columns and three rows. Uh, now we are going to uh, join these two tables by using right outer join. The main purpose of the right outer join is to uh, join these above two tables and going to retrieve matching and unmatching rows from the right side of the table. That means uh, it is going to be uh, retrieve matching and unmatching rows from the course table and it is going to be uh, uh, retrieve matching only matching rows from the uh, left side table that means it is going to be uh, retrieve only matching rows from the student table let us say uh, for that purpose how we are going to write the query is select star means all columns of the both the tables uh, here i am mentioning uh, left side table name that is student i am giving uh, alias name for the student is s and uh, this is the right outer join concept now i am going to give the right outer join keyword right outer join keyword and i am going to write the uh, right side table name that means course and uh, i am assigning the alias name for course is c and i am mentioning uh, I'm mentioning non condition in the down condition i am going to give the logical condition is s dot that means uh, alias name for the left side table that means alias name for the uh, student table is s dot common column of the both above two tables is equal to alias name for the right side of the table that means alias name name of the uh, course table is c dot common column of the above both two tables let us let us see the results what is going to be happened yeah here also we got the result uh, what it uh, what it is uh, happened you know uh, you know it fetched uh, all the matching and unmatching rows from the course table and uh, it it fetched all the uh, only matching rows from the student table so as we see the previous query in outer join outer join what was the thing is happened let us see if you see that query you can find the differences between left outer join and right outer join let us see that query also left outer join 
what was the thing happened i'm i'm going to use left outer join instead of right outer join uh, as we seen in the previous query uh, i'm going to show you again uh, what was the thing happened in the previous query yeah in this left outer join it is fetched matching and unmatched rows from the student table in right outer join it is fetched matching and unmatched rows from the right side table that means course table this is the difference and uh, in our left outer join uh, it is fetched matching rows matching rows from the uh, left side of the table that means student table uh, in in right right outer join concept uh it it retrieves the data or it retrieves the matching data from um, right side uh, um, matching data from left side table that means 10 20 record this is the difference between uh, left side uh, left outer join and right right outer join only thing is uh, left outer join is going to uh, uh, going to retrieve the matching and unmatching rows from the left side of the table and uh, retrieving uh, matching rows from the right side of the table uh, when it comes to right right outer join it is going to uh, fetch the records records that means including matching and unmatching uh, unmatching rows from right side of the table and uh, retrieving only matching data from left side of the table so this is the uh, left outer join and right outer join in oracle database so again we have the full outer join concept is there so let's see the definition of the full outer join concept <coughs> these are the joins uh, which are used to retrieve all the rows all the rows that means including matching and unmatching rows from both the tables let us see our uh, our example table so the full outer join is going to join these two tables uh, will be giving will be giving uh, both the uh, matching and unmatching rows result so let us see what was what what is the thing will happen in uh, full outer join in oracle database so i want to clear the screen once again so i want to fetch the records in student table i want to see the details in uh, course table also we have two tables so now we are going to uh, join these two tables by using full outer join full outer join so the main purpose of the full outer join is to uh, retrieve all the data that means including uh, matching and unmatching data, data rows from the both both the tables let us say the what 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 type of query we are going to use uh, to get that uh, particular result select star means all columns of the both the tables i'm going to use the left type left side table name student and assigning s as a uh, alias name for the student and i'm going to give the full outer keyword because this is the full outer uh, giant concept and i'm giving the right side table name that means course table and i'm mentioning alias name for the course table and i'm uh, giving uh, unconditional because this is the ansi format uh, giants uh, type and in the turn condition I am going to give the logical condition is uh, the alias name for the left side table that means alias name for the left side table is s dot common column of the both above two tables is cid is equal to the alias name for the uh, right side of the table that means alias name for the right side uh, alias name name for the course table is c and I am again mentioning uh, common column of the uh, above two tables let us see the uh, result by using full outer join concept to join about two tables yeah so it is fetched uh, matching and unmatching rows of the both the above tables so the, these are the uh, concepts in uh, uh, these are the three concepts in outer join uh, topic so these are outer joins uh, which are used to uh, overcome the problems with equi and inner thank you guys this is the concept thank you thank you very much